Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue with the series on NEO. Now in the last video we have talked about the basics of NEO, we have talked about some concepts. It's time to start with our first code. In fact, we'll write our smart code in the subsequent tutorials but first we have to do the setup, right? So you need some IDE or some setup to get started. So let's get started with the code. Now, in this example, we are going to write a smart contract with the help of C Sharp. And of course, you can mention your favorite language in the comment section. I will try to create a video for that as well. In fact, the toolkit is built on uh, C Sharp. So we'll initially, we'll start with that. Now, if you want to start with Neo, of course, you need to have some runtime, right? Now, the runtime it needs is .NET. Now, .NET 5 works. 6, sometimes it works. I don't know what went wrong when I, do, when I was doing it for the last time. But... Try both. Uh, when you download .NET 6, uh, you will get it and it should work, but then .NET 5 surely works. And for my last uh, session, I, I have used .NET 5. It was working. So the first thing you need is .NET, but how will you verify that you have .NET? It's very simple. You can open your command prompt and you can say, hey, uh, .NET, and you can ask for the version. And if it replies something, um, okay, is it two hyphens? Yeah, so when you say two hyphen dot net hyphen hyphen version, you can see it says 6.0. Uh, it should work. We'll try it out. Otherwise, we'll install uh, the dot net fifth version. Now, if you don't have this setup in your machine, that's completely fine. You can say dot uh, net download. Oh, that's a spelling mistake there. And it will take you to the official website of Microsoft. Let's see if we can get that set up here. In fact, we need dot net SDK download. Okay, so you can see when you go there, it, it will show you some options. So you can select five or six. Any of this should work. Make sure that you're downloading the SDK and six. Yeah, you can go with this and this should surely work. So that's one option. Otherwise, you can go to .net.microsoft.com. You can mention your version number and this is the page it will take you. Uh, download .net 6.0 and you can download the Windows version. Of course, you can select which version you're working with. So currently, I am with the sixth version and the OS is Windows. So I will click on this one, x64. Okay, it will take some time to download. In fact, my machine, I already have it and it's very simple. I just have to say next, next, next and it will download or it will install the .NET for you. Now, after the installation, again, you can try out this .NET hyphen hyphen version. Make sure that you reopen your command prompt because that's how it applies the settings. So close the command prompt, reopen and enter this. It will give you the version number. Now, once you have everything with you, once you have this setup, once you have .NET version, what next you need? The next thing you need in your machine is a place where you can type your code. Okay, a place where you can connect with the toolkit as well. Now, Neo is so developer friendly, it provides you some toolkit. So you just have to download VS Code. Uh, let's go here and say download VS Code. Okay, here we go. So you can specify which OS you're working with. So I'm using Windows, so you can click on that and it will download that in some time. Okay, but in my machine I already have VS Code, so I will just click on VS Code. Do I have that? Okay, it's not showing, so we have to install it. Okay, so once we have the VS Code downloaded, it's time to install that and you can see, it's very simple. I just have to say next, 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 and things are good. Okay, so let's launch VS Code. So basically we got our ID here, right? Now it's actually easy, right? You can just write a code, you can open a project, you can add a code and it should work. The only thing is, Neo provides a toolkit to work with. Now where you will get that toolkit, it's very easy. You just have to search for the extension. Uh, so you can see in VS Code, you can click on extension and the extension we want to add here is Neo Blockchain Toolkit. So just click on install and it should work. So it will take some time. Okay, done. So we got our toolkit, we got our extension, it's time to explore. Now, of course, we can create a new project, a blank project where you can write a smart contract and we'll run that on Neo. But if you can see, we have an option of Neo N3 Visual Dev Tracker and you also have Neo here. Let's click on this one, N3. Now, as I mentioned before, N3 is the Neo third version and it provides some awesome features. Uh, now, if you come back here, you can see we have two options here in the blockchain. So on the left-hand side top, so basically first you have to click on entry. Then it will show you option of mainnet and testnet. Now, initially we'll work on testnet because we don't want to waste our cryptos, but if everything goes good, we'll also try out mainnet. 
Now, this is where you can test your code and you can do experiments and it provides you different options, different networks available here. This is where you will be having your wallet, uh, where you can put your private keys. Uh, this is where you will deploy your smart contracts and this will be a opening prompt. So you can see it says uh, open a workspace folder, open blockchain explorer, we'll see that later. But as of now, uh, let me just use any of this network, any of this test network, I will say right click. And there's an option of open Neo N3 visual dev tracker. If I click on that, you will see some numbers, you will see some table here. And in some time, as you can see here, it is getting updated in every 45 seconds, I guess, or 40 seconds maybe less than that so if you wait for some time you will see a new block so you can see we got this is a recent block now it just got updated and if i click on this text here it will give all the information about that particular block so this is a block hash this is a block size uh, the time the merkle root then we have all the other information right and this will be useful once we start writing a smart contract so when you do a transaction when you create a block it will be available here now there's one more thing uh, you can actually create your own private uh, net if you want and otherwise you can also use the test network. Now in the next video, we'll try to explore something more or we'll also create a smart contract just to see how things are working. So yeah, that's it from this video where we have done the setup for the VS code where we got .NET version, we got VS code and we got the extension as well. So that's it. Bye-bye everyone.